not fun anymore. But hey, that was back in January, so I have no idea what's going on now. Should I come back? Is there some dumb stuff I can ramble about? Like the old days? I don't know what's going on in this game. I've, I've been out of the loop for months. The community still seems to be active, so maybe it's gotten better. Maybe it's improved. Oh no. <laughs> I actually got that shit in my mouth. <laughs> maybe it's improved. Oh no. Oh no, look guys, it looks like I've got shade thrown on me by my favourite furry animal jam YouTuber that uploads once every eight months. Yikes. I guess I'll have to commit Neverbed now in Minecraft. What's <laughs> the <laughs> <laughs> Junino だが、神仏に継がろうとは思わぬ。back we are officially at war with the fairies <laughs>
Haha, <laughs> really got me there, Retro. Not gonna lie, this was quite anticlimactic and rather overhyped. Similar to your videos with bold, obnoxious caplock titles and decent art, just for viewers to get distracted and not realise the actual content of the video is dog shit. All cat shit. What's your persona again? A fucking fox? The second most overrated animal on AJ. I was left extremely underwhelmed, just like her subscribers that haven't gotten a video from her in 8 months, so I decided to check out more of their so-called top quality videos. After all, for someone who excessively overuses the word cringe to describe 90% of other players from the community, I must have stumbled across the God's Well of AJ content, right? Oh, it's one of those. Alrighty. I'll try not to ramble on too much in this video about the extremely minor diss, and the fact that she is a fairy as the two sort of go hand in hand. You can't exactly expect a person that dresses in a fucking animal suit to be spitting any roast to AJ players, so I was absolutely mind boggled that they would even attempt commentary-esque content, and of course, confused as to why they would try and push such a ridiculous, one-sided argument that I went out with my way to quote-unquote bully her gay fairy boyfriend, something she later of course apologises to me for, apart from she continued making posts about me afterwards. Hope you're enjoying those 7 likes on your community tab and IG meme page. I was just especially amused about the subtle roast in which Retro just displays one of my video thumbnails to try and push a message that my content is somehow bad or in any form cringy, when they themselves plaster dabbing fucking AJ emoticons on their thumbnails. I mean, come on, you're a part of the most hated minorities on the internet. People often refer to fairies as the absolute pinnacle of cringe, yet you're under the misunderstanding that AJ players are in any form worse, as you always say. Hate to break it to you, but you're both a fairy and an AJ player. Goofed yourself there real good, you fucking idiot. The saddest part is that they seem to give a wrong idea that I'm in any form triggered over the fact that they memed on me in a forgetful 3 minute video. Oh dear, I can tell you're totally unprepared for this video. In addition to being your stereotypical cringy AJ YouTuber, Retro has attempted making videos from a particular genre that I just happen to be in. No, not the fairy community, imbeciles, AJ commentary. I'm not sure if they knew who I were upon deciding to sneakily insert that snarky shade at me at first. I surely know now considering the apologies and the change of tone, but oh boy am I glad to finally have come across another commentator, I say that in brackets because I don't believe they're quite worthy of that title, as a more accurate description from them would be a cringy fairy animal jammer that likes to complain and hypocritically shit talk others. I'm very excited to get into this one. Anyway, where, is, where have I been? Where the heck has Retro been for the past six months? Uh, Instagram, Twitter, uh, at conventions with my uh, BF. I have no idea where Panel 2 is at all. I don't even know where we are. I don't know what the fuck we're doing. I, <laughs> we're just wandering. Furries have no purpose. Wow, Retro, you're such a degenerate furry. Yeah, I know, I don't care. I was preparing a content critique on this creature for a while now, as many of you contacted me regarding various ways in which she blatantly lies and down talks others in her rant videos. While simultaneously sucking off worms like Maggot Plays AJ, and the hypocrisy and misinformation she shows in them is so abysmal, a 10 year old could probably do a better job at it. In fact, a 10 year old would also probably think before making a retarded, unthought community post, pushing an agenda that I outright told your gay fairy boyfriend to get hit by a car again. <laughs> wow, I still find that one funny. Because I was quote unquote triggered, when in reality, when full messages are shown, it's clear who messaged to first, looking for an outright confrontation. Retro foil would be a good idea for her incel pleb fairy boyfriend to message me and do the dirty work for her. We're hoping what, my phone would fucking break and I would lose these messages? Or is your thought process really that limited that you thought you can try and get me hate by lying about me and perceiving me as this boogeyman that just goes around telling people to commit neverbed? Either way, it didn't quite work out for you too well. You should have done a little research on me, enough to know that at least I'm not the boogeyman. Sure, people definitely don't perceive me as the good in the community, I'm a toxic cunt after all, but I'm the one that takes down the boogeyman. 
Come on, you could have definitely thought of something bad, say, like defending yourself because you were shitless scared I'm making a video on you. I of course have in the decency messaged Retro, letting them know I'm making a content critique on them to prepare and try to figure out why they'll choose to start beef with me over a minor diss in a two minute fucking quitting video. And uh, this was their response, I guess. Big Roaster and Hard Nuts Retro thought it would be a good idea to get her alliance of fairies to swarm my messages and spam my comments with brain dead playground insults. One of those people being her gay fairy boyfriend, of course. I'm not sure if Retro was expecting me to listen to a clearly mentally delayed adult try and form an emoji filled quirky insult at me, but I obviously clapped back pretty easily. I mean, it's not exactly an achievement to form a valid roast against somebody that unironically uses clown emojis, is it? I guess the most extreme thing these fairies get up to is pegging each other with their fairy butt plug tails because they seemed shocked about my reply and thought it might work as a way of defending themselves, I guess, or perhaps even cancelling me. I'm really unsure whether they were so self unaware that they forgot where they were the ones to mention me or message me picking a fight, but I'm all for it and will happily clown on these specimens. I simply just don't get how Retro thought she could conspire some imbecile fairy friends to do her dirty job for her, trying to come into my DMs because she herself was too incompetent, then may post attempting to present me as a bad guy in any way afterwards. Oh, and I hope you realise I wasn't joking in any form, by the way. I would find it pretty entertaining if your boyfriend got into another car accident. Do you think the driver would get charged for manslaughter or animal abuse? This was only one of their dumbass community posts. When I called them out in their DMs, they practically spammed their entire community feed with cocky backtalk and bullshit as their last minute attempt to defend their image. Taking a quick look at her continuous flurry of posts on me, it's very clear that just like in her videos, Retro has a bad habit of lying and deceiving her audience. As well as starting arguments with people left and right, then acting like the innocent victim to cover herself up. Who's mad, I guess? Just by lying in your community posts alone, you made yourself look weak and take away from the already limited credibility you had before from your videos on other people. Seems like somebody that perhaps is looking for attention, an idiot that wants to be cancelled. Should've just asked for it buddy, I'm on it. When beginning to delve into the rabbit hole of autism inducing content, I love to start off with a person's most popular videos, as they usually display their person's biggest achievements. My disappointment reached immeasurable levels when I found out their most popular video was a commentary hit piece on no other than Animal Jam's beaten dead horse, Apari. Just to make this shit clear, alright, I'm not going to criticise them on making an Apari video. I've got a full playlist of like six myself, so that would be a retarded thing for me to do. Instead, what I'll talk about is the context of the video and all the sucking off she does in it. As even for a fairy, all that sun slurping gets very embarrassing. Even though this is a video on Apari, it could have honestly just been more appropriately called a shout out to my idols video. Anyways, I went into this quite optimistic as both a fan of commentary and somewhat of a professional at Apari shit talking. Alright, I'm back making quality content. I always say that in the beginning of my videos because there's always a month gap in between my videos because I don't make enough videos. Alright, what should I talk about? Oh, my membership expired. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll renew that again whenever I feel like it. Okay, I got it back. All of my animals make it up. Come on! Oh, look, more spikes! Just what we needed. 50 billion more spike colors. Thank you, Animal Jam. You really know what we want. You really know what we like. We like spikes. That is what we need. Is this joke over yet? Is there still a punchline coming up or is it just filler content to make her monthly video a tiny bit longer? Getting to be a Paris shit already. Animal Jam is a very popular online children's game and of course there are people that make bank by making lousy 10 minute long pandering videos about it. It's hard to believe Animal Jam YouTubers are even a thing, but they are. All the games you could dedicate a channel to, all of like the awesome and creative video games that you could choose to play, but you chose Animal Jam. Now that I think about it, I did just that. Oh, uh, of course, a fellow Wii U gamer. I was under the assumption that the Wii Gamer Nation has fallen. Perhaps the fairies are attempting to resurrect this ancient cult. 
Oh, I also thought Nintendo mostly markets to children under the age of 10. <laughs> Stop, okay? Don't riot. I'm a proud owner of many Nintendo consoles myself. The point I'm trying to make is how hilarious it is that Gamer Girl Retro over here believes that Nintendo games are more awesome and creative than Animal Jam and somehow less cringy. Clearly setting up another one of her infamous bland self-secure jokes. Hey, wait! I'm also an Animal Jam YouTuber. You're a part of the infestation. Deal with it or convert to a Splatoon fairy roleplay channel. You mentioned everyone was in it for the bank, so I was confused as to why your videos display no ads on them. Perhaps you're playing AJ unironically and for fun? Now that is cringe if you ask me. In retrospect, her parry video was decent, far from perfect and didn't include any groundbreaking new things to call him out on, but it was alright. They critiqued the boy a par par for mostly very obvious things such as the video length, idiotic red arrows and circles in the thumbnails, the happy-go-lucky attitude and of course his Jewish instinct wanting those YouTube pennies, which for some reason she believes all YouTubers including myself desire. All good and valid criticism, yet there were obvious contradictions and counterpoints to her argument, in particular info that when put in context could make Retro reveal herself for a hypocrite and drama-hungry trend hopper that actively seeks out other YouTubers for clout and in hopes to start some juicy drama. A major critique point of yours that becomes blatant hypocrisy is a Paris idea recycling. Remaking a shitty money grab video multiple times is scummy and something a Paris is guilty for. Although deciding to continue an idea and make a series out of it is perfectly fine. You yourself have literally remade the same generic video about the infamous topic of Arctic Wolves, did you not? Wow, now this is really- this stuff is really leagues above a Paris content, isn't it? So what are their videos even like? Like I just said, they're pandering, boring, and long enough so they can make as much money as possible. And look at all those ads, holy balls! A YouTuber like Apari makes all of his videos 10 minutes and uses eye-catching thumbnails to get those views! Thanks for having the red circles in your thumbnail! Would not have noticed that thing without those red circles! Thank you very much! Ah! I wonder what they're pointing at! Ah, I wonder what that red circle is circling! Ah! I mean, Apari's been recycling ideas like the writers for Spongebob episodes. You made the same videos over and over again. I mean, come on, man. Really? That, this neon cat thing like friggin' 40 billion times? Come on, Apari. You can do better than this. You can think of more things. Come on. Come on. Also, just quit whining about YouTubers making money. So what if Apari bought himself shoes? Just come on. Come on. That's like their job. This is also their job, if you didn't know that. Some YouTubers do this as a job. She made the video in 2017, and at that time, Apari was already established as an already hated individual across the grand scale of the community. Meanwhile, yes, there's obviously nothing wrong with making a video on him. A recurring theme of Retro that I noticed is making complaining videos on topics so obvious and one-sided that any 10-year-old Neanderthal twat could smash like on it just for a video title alone. For example, her two-sided fake persona can easily be challenged by the fact that she liked a video of Aparis, then she liked a video someone made celebrating Aparis is gone. Retro is a typical two-faced twat that will follow any opinion or group of people that have a mass voice, just to try save her ass and not receive criticism herself. This is so fucking beta, honestly. You shouldn't even be allowed to make videos attempting to critique others when you're a sheep that will just follow just about what anyone has to say. Come on, commentary videos on Apari, Spikes, Arctic Wolves and AJ updates isn't exactly the peak of originality. Sure, they'll provide you with some growth, just like your beloved idol Jelly Jones, who by the way, in my opinion, also shared various trait similarities to Apari. It's hard to be original creating content for this game, I understand, but be cautious when critiquing others, especially when one of the people you look up to is this. I was honestly sort of enjoying the video until Retro started sucking off this person as well, holy fuck. Jammers don't get famous overnight, unless you're someone like Jelly Jones. Holy crap. Jelly Jones is the jammer that just blew the frick up in popularity, and she deserves her fame. Her videos are friggin' great. Wait, why doesn't she have 100k yet? What the heck? Also, where are all, where are all of Mag's subscribers? I don't know, man. The good YouTubers just don't get enough attention, or at least the decent ones don't get enough attention. 
fucking hell, chill out, we're getting into non-PG area here with all that sucking up. On a serious note though, this is why Predict has led her to form this amalgamation of a commentary video style and atones for 50% of her mistakes. She took inspiration from one of the worst culprits in the community. More on that later. Buy myself some more amiibo. Thank you! Also, this one's really cute. This one's my favorite out of them all. Yeah. I don't have that many amiibo. Retro is gone!